talk about this Mississippi freight train. James Cotton's got the coolest version from a CD called Live in the Blues. This was one of my favorite CDs that he ever released. I came across it early in my playing, um, and the song is called, appropriately titled, Mississippi Freight Train. I've got it pulled up on YouTube, and I'll post a link where you can listen to this. I highly recommend you listen to it. I'll play pieces of it throughout this video. It takes an A harmonica to play along today. Um, so he starts out with the train whistle. Let's talk about that. So we're focused on holes three and four drum, and the key here is that we're bending the three a little bit and bleeding in a tiny bit of four. You're making this face. Especially if you're a pucker player, it looks like that. And you want to bend that note down around the half to almost full zone right as we go into two draw. You don't have to go all the way to full. We're kind of just gently nudging that half step down. And landing on two draw or even that, notice I'm bringing in dirty enough, like a chord or two, three draw. Use some hands to get that whistle going and that's the whistle portion of this train. All right, let's get into this little, the main portion of this train that he builds nice and easy here, slowly. It's not too hard. Three draw, half step, bend to two draw. Make sure that you're not dragging that bent note from three into the two draw. And then after you get that two draw, just blow, draw, blow on the one, two, three chord. Now you've got the whole train working for you, except for the ending. He brings in a different kind of train at the end. Can you hear him getting it up to speed? That's about 53 seconds. I ended up learning my version of the train by listening to this. That's where I came up with a very close version to what I'm teaching you today. Pretty much, pretty much identical. And then by the time he gets past the minute mark, listen to what happens. It's just this in-out pattern on the one, two, three, primarily. Just in and out on the chords in a, in a perfect timing there. You gotta get that rhythm right. But I noticed that he's not just using one, two, three draw, he's kind of shifting and grabbing like two, three, four draw. And if you barely move over and almost like you're you're just trying to barely move over to catch a different group of notes slightly, you'll get this part. Let's catch the end. I'm making this part up. Let's see what he plays at the end. Here it is. Just a simple walk down in octaves, three, six, blow, two, five, split, draw, one, four, blow, and that three, four, draw. And that's it. That's the Mississippi Freight Train by James Cotton. No need for tabs. If you really want to learn this, try to play along by ear. And if you need to, write your own tabs instead of seeking them out today in the video description or looking for somebody that's written them in the comment section. Just go ahead and, and go slowly. Write them out. There's not too much going on. So just play along by ear. And I'll leave you with a little Mississippi Freight Train.